Good morning and welcome to Manic Fishing. Well, I've come out today. My plan today is to try and catch a ray, but hopefully I'm not going to be fighting my way through loads and loads of dogfish. I've not come out far. Some quite big swells, well, not here, but I'm sure there is out deep. It's showing about a metre, but we're fine here. We are flooding. I can see what way we're going. It's no real secret. It's just some rough ground here. So I'll get myself round, get into position, and I'll chuck the pick down. Right, so my anchor's in and it's holding. So what I'm gonna do is, there's a bank back here. I'm just gonna trickle myself back so I'm fishing against the bank. So I'm gonna let about 100 foot of line out and uh, then we'll be somewhere near. We're holding fine, but I'll just let some more anchor rope out. So what I'm trying to do here, let me show you on the phone. So this is my mark here. What I wanna do is I wanna try and get up into that bank. So I'm about, that's my scale there, 500 foot. So I'm about, I don't know, maybe 200 foot away from it. So I'll just trickle back a little bit more. Then by the time my line goes down, I should be on the money there. Right, so I've just let a little bit more line out. So let's see if I can show you. So the boy is still... The boy's still just down there, but we're just tightening up and we're swinging round now. You can see the boat swinging round. And so I'm hoping we should swing somewhere near where I want to be. So I think we're good here. Yeah, I'm happy here. I'm going to have a go. I'll have a go. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to use my up tie rod, two down tie rods. On my up tie rod, <coughs> I'm going to be using this boom I used on the beach in the previous video. Um, and what I've got is I've got one of these Cox and Roll 4.0 red hooks, longer shank. I like the longer shank for the rays. And on the top hook, I've just got a real small hook that I'm gonna fish. Uh, I'm hoping maybe some dabs here. So let's get the rod down. Showing loads of fish down there, but probably dogfish, but let's get the rod down get it set up and I'll show you how I prepare my baits. So for my baits, I've got some, I've got a box of squid. I've got some, some blueies. I've got a few joey mackerel. I've got a few sand eels and I've got some frozen lug. So let's uh, put a bit of frozen lug on first on the, on the uh, little dab set up so it's only a little hook so i only want to just a little bit of bait on that so i'll just thread a little bit on here showing a few dabs i you know in that previous video on the beach there was a few showing whether they're out here i'm sure they will be but you don't want a great deal of bait for dabs so i'm just going to have a little bait like that and then on the top one which has got my 6-0, uh, sorry, my 4-0 um, cox and roll hook. I'm gonna, think I'm gonna go, let's go down with a side of mackerel first. Put that there, get a bit organized. So I'm just gonna go, uh, I'll take the whole fillet off. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut that fillet down in half. So right the way down the middle, gonna make two baits out of it. I, th I like the longer baits for these. So it's like a bit of a belly strip here. So I'm just gonna go through it, pull it through over the hook, and then go in it like that. And what I'll do is I'm gonna put a little bit of elastic around that. So I'll just put a little bit of elastic just to hold that. And there's the bait there. So it's nice and proud, hook showing. Right, let's get this one over, see if I can mess this up. Hopefully not. I'll just put that in there and I'll let that tide take that round and tighten that up. Right, I'll get me other two ones set up. So what I'll do is, on this one, I'll go down with the uh, other side of that mackerel. 
out like that. And then just with this little top hook, there's nothing special about this line. I'll be honest with you, I was looking for some 60 pound line and I couldn't find any and this is just a bit of old leader line I had. So just wrap that round a couple of times and just go through the, the top like that. And that's the bait there. That shouldn't need elasticating. So let's get this one out. I think I've got a rod holder somewhere, but we'll, let's get this one out down the side. I'll flick this one out a little bit so I'm away from the boat slightly. And I'll get the other one set up exactly the same. But what I'll do with this one, I'll try squid. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping we don't have to fight our way through dogfish. It is inevitable that they're gonna be here, but um, I'm really, really praying for a ray today. That's it. Like that. Pull that line through. So it's like that. Now look, I've bounced on there already. Let's hope that's not a dogfish. And there you go, there's that bait. So let's get this one over and then we'll have a look. So with this one, I'm going to keep it slightly short of the boat. Just flick it a little bit. Right, well, fingers crossed and hopefully not a dogfish. So it is uh, it's virtually quarter to nine. I'm gonna check that one at nine, fish that one to the clock, these two out and see what's happening. Fingers crossed. So I don't know if you can see this. Let me show you on the phone. A massive ball of fish. I mean, that may well be herring there, but I can't be uh, bothered to set anything up. Probably a massive shoulder dogfish. <laughs> but the lines are out. We're all set. Let's just uh, pray for a ray. That's what I want today. Well, there you go. There you go. And that's the small. It shows how sensitive this rod is. That's the small. Um, that's on the small uh, dab hook with a little bit of lug. So let's get him off. Get him back. Get down, Skip. So, up tied one. The um, the dab bait seems to be working just for the white in at the minute. <laughs> so we might have a change around with that. Uh, I've got something a bit different on here now. It's certainly not what I wanted. <laughs> But we did know we were going to get them. So dogfish on that squid. So it's nicely hooked anyway. So it just comes out nice and easy. So now we're starting to hit them. But we're not what I want to hit. We're getting dogfish now. Uh, it feels a bit heavier, but maybe a heavier dogfish. Hoping it's a ray, but I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's dogs of the day. So... Come out, Skip. Another one. Let's hopefully we can get this hook out of this one. Yeah, again, the lovely dogfish. And I'll put a little herring line over. And uh, I don't know, job to uh, tell, but it feels uh, like I might have one. Yeah, look, I have. Oh, that's great. Try not for him to fall off. Only one. But it's the first one I've ever caught. <laughs> so I'm pleased with that. Come out, Skip. Yeah, so great. First one ever. Oh, so, oh, unfortunately, that's a shame. I just had another dogfish, but he's just come off. So that wasn't a shame. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wind in and I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move further inshore. I've got a mark round by a sort of an outfall pipe closer inshore. And I think I'll probably do better there. Um, as I said, they are catching them on the, off the beach. So I think I'll be a little bit closer in there. So what I'll do is I'll get this, this other one in and I'll, uh, I'm gonna move. Just had that little herring which was great never caught one before so let's get the last rod in and i'll pop the anchor up yeah all it is here is just dogfish and uh 
as much as I love them, I don't. So I've just got myself out to this other bit of ground and uh, I'll show you on the phone what uh, I'm trying to achieve. So you can see the boy there, I've only just chucked it in, I've paid quite a bit of line out. What I want to do is, I'll show you on the phone, oops, so there's this, this ridge here, so it's up against the bank, so I really, I want to be fishing up against that, and my theory is that the bait's going to be pushed up into that area there, and that's where I'm hoping the rays are going to hold, no doubt probably dogfish are going to be held there as well so you can see the line there now it's just going to start to tighten and swing us round and hopefully we should swing round right into the middle of this so let's get myself ready uh right let's get me up tied one down Okay, and I'll let that tighten up. Now this one I'm just going to put straight down. This one was already baited up before. And we'll get the other one down. Right, so the baits are out. So I've got mackerel and, squid, uh, mackerel and um, lug on there. I've got the other half a fillet of fresh herring on that one for my rays, hopefully. The uptide one has got a, a little tip lug worm on the on the um, top up. That's what that is. <laughs> A ray of light. A ray of dog. It can't get much worse. It started to rain now as well, so. So you're up there, it's raining, I'm catching dogfish, I'm not going to give up and the reality of fishing is, is it's not always red letter days as you can see. What can I say? No right. So, yeah, whiting, it's uh, certainly better size but uh, it's not what I want. There you go, can't always have what you want. It's just a dogfish fest. Well, I'm clearing the area out. Won't be many more dog fish left. King of dog. I think this is going to be the reality of my day. Welcome to my world today. Well, unfortunately, I haven't managed to get that ray for you unless it's on this rod here, but I don't think so. So, as I say, it's not all about, you know, you go out and target it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It didn't the second time with the spur dogs, but there you go. It is what it is, it's called fishing, not catching. And, uh, you know, I did try and target them today. I suppose I could have perhaps you know, I could have perhaps drifted around, done some place fishing. I know a friend of mine's been out on the wrecks. He's had a few, he's had a few doubles and a few other uh, pollocks, so he done quite well. He made the right decision. But there you go. It is what it is. It was nice to, um, nice to get out anyway. Thanks for watching, Manic Fishing. At the end of the video, you'll see a prompt for another video. I'm sure that one would be much better than this one. So watch that, and then you'll see my Manic Fishing logo. 
hit that logo that's the subscribe button i'm really really appreciate everybody who has sub subscribed to the channel i'm nearly on 4,000. if you can make that happen i'd really appreciate it hit the button hit the subscribe button doesn't cost you a penny to do and it means the world to me thanks for watching have a wonderful day